Hello everybody, welcome to this third session uh, of the lecture of VETPACT which uh, will be about uh, uh, the two additional modules VETPACT blog and VETPACT quiz. And uh, I will start here on the first page, the start page of VETPACT and show you how you can reach these, these modules and we start with VETPACT blog. Uh, you can reach it in two ways, either on the upper li list here where you click on the link blog and I also want to show you that you can read here to the left uh, about the most recent blog posts and uh, the recent comments to any of these blog posts. But now I will go here to the list again and click on blog to come to the uh, module VETPAC blog. And here we see uh, the first page of the VETPAC blog and uh, uh, I have to scroll down here a little to show you the complete uh, post. This is about uh, lectures uh, on VETPAC which were given in China some time ago. And uh, this also explains why some of the uh, parts of VETPACT have been translated into Chinese and that is to stimulate the Chinese students to use VETPACT. Uh, there are several purposes of uh, the VETPACT blog. For instance, um, we want to inform you about uh, different events in relation to bacteriology and this is one such event. Another important invent is uh, public defense of theses and if I click here on the third post I come to such a post uh, where we inform about uh, presentations about two theses in bacteriology. Uh, so that is a, also a purpose and uh, uh, we also want to inform you about uh, recent changes in VETPAC, for instance when we have added new information or introduced new pictures. We can see an examples of that here on the fifth uh, recent post where we have introduced uh, pictures about on uh, Protes vulgaris and Escherichia coli, new images, and uh, you can also uh, find these pages if you click on the links here. And uh, the last, the most uh, important uh, purpose of this VETPAC blog is to give you opportunity to use the VETPAC blog to uh, uh, start discussions or to make comments on uh, some of the posts. And you can see here if you click on the f uh, first uh, recent comment in the list here, you will come to such a post which has uh, generated several uh, comments and here you see such a post uh, we wrote about a name change that had occurred uh, that um, uh, Arcanobacterium pyogenes had changed name to Tribrella pyogenes and uh, then we got some uh, comments from uh, different authors and you can see a list of them here and I think that you can uh, read yourself if you are interested. And as you see here to the right, uh, we also have an RRS, RSS feed on the VETPAC blog so you can uh, follow uh, any changes here without going into the start page of VETPAC. Now I will go back to the top here and return to the start page, go to the database here and uh, I click on here to come to the English version and uh, here we are again. Uh, now I will demonstrate VETPACT quiz for you and then we turn to course material here and click on bacteriology course where you find first uh, the module VETPACT lab which I will talk about during the next session and then we have uh, uh, the quizzes. We have several different kind of quizzes and here you can see all of them. 
Uh, we have disease quiz, gram staining quiz, hemolysis, image, motility, and spore form forming quizzes. And uh, I can start with some something uh, simple here. For instance, the grams, gram staining quiz. And uh, we have different uh, uh, degrees of difficulty. And let's take the standard gram, sta gram staining quiz here. Click on the link here. And here we got the question. And now the task is to decide which of these bacteria are gram positive and gram negative. So um, first, Br Brucella ovis. It's a gram negative bacterium. So I click in here. Then we have Micrococcus luteus. It's a gram positive bacterium. Campylobacter fetus, uh, subspecies venerealis, gram negative. Mycoplasma synovia, gram negative. Bordetella bronchiseptica, also gram negative. And finally, Actinobacillus suis, which is gram positive. And then I submit my replies and I get feedback immediately. And here you can also see what happens if you do a mistake. Actinobacillus is not gram positive, it is gram negative. So then uh, I get a red color here. And immediately after that, I got a new set of bacteria. And it's just to continue here to fill out this. And uh, you can continue un until you have, uh, until you are satisfied. So let us go back here to the uh, pages, start page for the quizzes, and instead, instead choose something else. And we can take, for instance, the standard disease quiz, which we have here, where you get uh, uh, a disease. And your task is to decide which bacterium has uh, caused this disease. It's uh, uh, bovine keratoconjunctivitis, which is also called pink eye. And here you should know that this uh, disease is caused by Moraxella bovis. So you click in here and you submit your answer. And um, you see you have green here, so uh, it was a correct answer. And you will also get a, a compilation of your answers down here. So I think what you can do is to um, uh, ask, answer 10 questions and then see how many correct answers you have given. Now we have another um, set of bacteria here to this disease, liver abscesses and interdigital necrobacillosis or foot root. And uh, here you should know that this is Fusobacterium necrophorum, which causes this disease. And you submit your reply here. And you see it's also correct. Uh, here we have another disease. Uh, this bacterium has been isolated from various types of infections in dogs and cats as well as from wound infections of dog or cats and uh, bites in humans. And uh, let's see here, we have a number of bacteria. Which bacteria could cause this disease? Uh, well, some uh, questions are not so easy, but I think it is Fusobacterium canini fel felinum. And let's try it. Yes, it's correct. Then we have another disease, polyarthritis in pigs. And let us, le let us make a wrong answer here, uh, so you see what happened. We answer Mycoplasma agalactia, which is completely wrong. And we send it in. And uh, the system tells which bacteria we should have answered. And uh, you also, in the compilation, can see now that uh, uh, there were three correct answers out of four. So then I think you can continue yourself with this. So let's go back again to the uh, start page for the quizzes. And uh, take the last one. And uh, I want to demonstrate also for you the image quiz, which is a little a beginning of the uh, vet packed lab. But it's much simple, much more simple than uh, Vetback Lab. 
So here you get uh, an animal, a sheep, and a, uh, a very short case description. Some of the affected animals are laying on their forelegs when they are eating. And you get the information about the sample type, swap from lesions of the skin between the two toes. And then uh, we have pictures of the bacterium on blood agar and uh, after gram staining. So we can see that it's gram negative bacterium, it's rods, we know where it comes come from, we know how it looks on blood agar. And uh, if you want, uh, you can get a hint to get some more information. But if you think you are sure of what it is, you can direct directly select that species from the list here. And uh, uh, this should be Dicylobacter nodosus. So you click on this bacterium here, and let's see if it is correct or not. Dicylobacter nodosus, and you sum submit your answer. And you see, it's correct. And when you have given a correct answer, you can get a new set of images and continue like this. So I think uh, now you can uh, try this yourself. You can use both the vet backed blog and the vet backed quizzes to check your knowledge in veterinary bacteriology. Thank you for your attention.